starting my mornings by coming outside here and just listening to the birds chirp, watch the clouds move and the sun rise. Welcome back to Hawaii. We're here at Disney's Alani. We're gonna venture on outside Alani today and probably go see um, Diamond Head, which was um, an old volcano that used to erupt. We've got a lot in store today. Later tonight, we will be seeing the authentic luau here in Alani. Right down there is where it takes place. Cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for the show, the food. If you could do me a favor real quick, go ahead and just thumbs this video up. Also, um, our room, I just want to let you know, is like right by the elevator. And um, <laughs> you can hear the elevator. Just to let you know, it kind of makes like a rumble sound every 10 seconds. So I've been sleeping with a fan on my phone. It's like one of the best ways to do it. Compared to yesterday, we don't have the best view, but it's still a good one. I do think the ocean view is better, but we can technically still see the ocean from here. But like it's more scenic on the other side. Definitely more quiet over here. Elevators, room. Room, elevators. It's not the quietest elevators, but it's not horrendous. This is something I could get used to for sure. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. Sorry. No, it's okay. Everyone's so friendly when you're just filming. You don't really get that too often. Everyone's like, yeah. I had to get some coffee. We also just hit 174,000, wait. <laughs> we hit uh, 147,000 subscribers here in Hawaii. Cool little milestone there. So thank you guys for subscribing. Can we get to 150,000 here in Hawaii? That would be rad. You know what? I think people just get these from across the street and put them on stitch. I think that's what you do here. I can't get over on how beautiful this place is. It's just so relaxing. My mom's calling me. Hello? Wanted to catch the beach in the morning. It's about 7 a.m. I feel like I'm in a movie. It's so peaceful, it's, it's insane. Welcome to the movie. We're technically shooting one right now. Coffee seems to be a hot commodity in the morning. It's pretty long. It's by this really cute pool. Quiet pool. Let's get some coffee. The way Lana coffee bar. Well, I got a lovely order of the Alani special and I also ordered breakfast. So you can order breakfast here and then pick it up where we picked it up the other day at the quick service. So that's kind of cool, you can do both. Just waiting on my coffee. My food's ready already. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I was ready for coffee, thanks. Look at that view. That's why you get here in the morning. Wow. Coffee time. Figured why not come down to the beach and enjoy my coffee and breakfast. So that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna go on this thing, but you have to pay for these, kinda assumed. I'm without doubt, definitely a grass sitter. It's a little damp, but it's all good. This is their specialty Alani coffee drink. Ooh, it's really creamy. Two uh, espresso shots, by the way, in that. And now for uh, the food, this sausage and egg. Looks bomb.com. Let's give it a roll. The sausage in Alani is really tasty. It's better than the mass produced sausages we have at Disney World. Just a heads up, I believe Friday 
we will be going live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be a night live stream for you guys and a day live stream for me. And I'll, I'll be doing the live stream after I have my massage. Um, but, yeah. I am totally relaxing. I wish you guys could see this. See that beautiful ship right there? It's like a net ship. It's $119 per person. And I think we will be doing that. Hawaiian Ocean Adventures. Not today. In the future. Get to go out there. The calmness the morning brings. I dig it. Now Diamond Head is hiking. I think we're gonna take an Uber or a lift, uh, lift there. I would wear a button up, but it's probably gonna get really hot out. So athleisure shirt it is for the time being. Oh, here's a map of the place. Don't believe I showed this uh, yesterday, but this is where our first room was. And our second room is right here. And this is the luau. We were just enjoying the beach over here. The quick service was over here and the coffee right next door. I never wandered this area yet because that is the spa. Friday will be in the spa. I changed. <sighs> Dasani, really? It's just me and you guys. Jojo elected not to come this morning, so it's just us, which is okay. That means I get to go at my pace, and that pace is usually quick. To my surprise, Diamond Head, it takes about 40 minutes to get on over there. I think that's because of traffic. It's only about 20 miles. The lift was pretty expensive though, about $58 as you guys saw. I was watching it. It went up as high as 70, so expect that. And I don't know if they have water, so I bought my own water. Aloha. On our way to Diamond Head, Andy, our uh, Lyft driver, is kind of giving me a lot of awesome places for us to check out. So I'm excited for the future of the vlogs these next coming days. So shout out to you, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Hey, welcome, bro. And I'll take you mahalo. Here we go, everybody. Welcome to Diamond Head. It looks like we have to go through a tunnel to start and beginning our hike. I did have to make a reservation, a $10 reservation to come here. I didn't really expect that. It's a good thing I actually checked that this morning. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to come on in here. So if you want to come to Diamond Head, you have to make a reservation. First time ever to a volcano. Now, this is not an active volcano. It is dormant. It's actually 300,000 300, years old. I think that's when it last erupted 300,000 years ago. Mind boggling to even say that. <laughs> this is going to be quite the workout. I hope they have bathrooms because I have to go to the bathroom. We have found the entrance. It's $5 per person. Hello, got a QR code for you. It's just me instead of two people. Okay. My time is in like an hour. They just said, yeah, you're good. I think they just care about the reservation, you paying five bucks to visit, but I, we're actually standing kind of in the middle of the crater and this is where like the volcano actually erupted. The outsides uh, of like the volcano never used to be there. That's usually what happens when a volcano erupts. It gets bigger than it actually usually was. Well, what do you say? Let's. Let's go hiking. It's about a two hour trail. I don't know how long we'll be here, but we're gonna do it. Couldn't tell you the last time that I went hiking, but I do wanna tell you guys on how Diamond Head actually got its name. In the late 1700s, uh, Western explorers were, were traveling around here and they found what is known as now Diamond Heads, but they were finding uh, crystals in the rocks and they mistaken those crystals for diamonds. So. Thus, Diamond Head became known for the crater, which erupted 300,000 years ago. Holy cow, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> this is gonna be quite the workout. I should have stretched. <laughs> I should have stretched before this. This is like a water park times 50. Whew. I was talking to Andy, the Lyft driver, and he was telling me a lot of cool places to go and visit. And I'm jotting those down because I know sometime this year again I am coming to Hawaii again. So I'm gonna make an effort. I'm gonna make like an extra effort next time we come here to kind of go into those places, like all the waterfalls, the hidden waterfalls. 
Hi. <laughs> Everyone says hi to the vlog camera here. I love the love. Apparently going up is easier than going down. I'd like to say we're halfway there, but I, I don't think we are. This is beautiful, holy cow, Hawaii, I see you. We are approaching a tunnel in the mountain. It's a lot darker than what it's perceived on video. Yeah. Woo. If you have not done so, please thumbs up the video. This is a workout. Now we just went up 99 steps to get to the great, oh my gosh, to get to the to lookout point where there's a World War II bunker right here. This was built for World War II. I'm guessing this was a, a mortar where they fired the cannons at the incoming battleships if they ever did come to Hawaii. But uh, nothing really did. Yeah, you can see the age here. Speaking of World War II, tomorrow we're going to Pearl Harbor. Actually, sorry, I think tomorrow we're gonna be live. Um, on Saturday, we'll be at Pearl Harbor. Alani is way over there. I can actually see it. Absolutely stunning views that look way better in person. Than in camera. This video camera does it no justice. I am the king of the world. It took me about 30 minutes. I can see if it was like insanely crowded, take me longer. This is my first sip of water too. I wanted to wait till I got up top here. It's breathtaking though. Absolutely breathtaking. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And down we go. Side note, walking up is so much easier. My legs feel like rubber right now. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Good news, I'm still in shape. And I don't know what those people were talking about. Going down is so much easier. When it's really steep, it's hard and your legs feel like jello. But going down is a breeze compared to going up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm sweating my butt off if you're looking back at Walt Disney World but it's beautiful. If you can make it out here, definitely do it. You only need about an hour and a half because it took me about 15 minutes to get down, 30 to get up, but I was going at my speed, which is pretty quick. Just ordered my lift, another $60. Lifts are expensive here. Thank you. We're uh, gonna be going to a surprise location. I have no idea what it is. It's called uh, Mermaid Cove, right by Alani. Well, I got dropped off right by the ocean. And now I gotta go try to find the secret cave. Not a clue. I've got not a clue where I'm going. I found it, it's below me. All right, let's go down. No freaking way. Check this out, everybody. Insane. I gotta get in, I just gotta wait for Jojo to get here. There are crabs, crabs in here, guys.
that for sure is a different experience. Kind of terrifying to go underneath. I don't think I'm going to go because it's getting a little choppy and I'm not the best swimmer. And it's coral, so it's really sharp. That was definitely cool to see, but now it's time to go back to Alani or Luau is very soon. In about four hours, we have to report, and I want to get a little snack and kind of relax back in Alani. I can actually see it. It's way over there in the distance. And what do you know, another, another lift. Thanks again. Back at Alani. I'm hungry. It's good to be back. To summarize the up today so far, beautiful, exhausting, beautiful, worth it. it smells like food. <laughs> to summarize the up today so far, beautiful, exhausting, beautiful, worth it. Back to relaxation. We're gonna go meet, I think, a turtle. Awa Mel, I think the name is. Wow, I just witnessed greatness here. Hi, Mickey. Hi, hi, hi. Mickey right now? Oh, Mickey. You so fine, you so fine, Mickey, yeah. Hey, Mickey, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Good to see you, Mick. Good to see you, good to see you. Bye. See you later, buddy. I hope I pulled this Thank you. Mickey was so excited to see us. Holy cow. I've never seen that. You ran, ran up and hugged us. Did that I never want to leave Alani. Did that wake you up? It did, it did. <laughs> Let's go meet this turtle and go get some food. A little food before uh, tonight for the luau. Look, a turtle. A turtle. Oh, Lou Mel is the name. I haven't met that character ever. Back at off the hook here. I think I'm gonna try the spicy fries. Pretty expensive, they're $13, and that's probably gonna tide me over until dinner in about four hours or so. And you know what? We're gonna get an Island Bliss as part of a reward for all the hiking. <laughs> Decided actually to get to the True Blue Hawaii instead of the Island Bliss because Island Bliss sounds a little sweet. It's a good reward. They're not spicy, but they're good. I'm telling you, off the, off the hook is off the hook. Get it? <laughs> I really wonder tonight if um, the luau has free drinks. Doubt it, but we shall see. And now we get changed for the luau, baby. I cannot wait for this. It was about $180 for general admission. There's general. And then there's like premium, which is about 250. We got so lucky on uh, the reservations. I'll, I'll talk to that, we'll more about that in a, in a second. Just wanna get to my room and start changing. Speaking of the luau, here she is before everybody, everybody gets here. Gosh, I can't wait. I cannot flippin' wait. There's not really a bad seat in the house either. I was worried someone would be pretty far, but it doesn't really look like it. Here's my outfit for the evening in three, two, one. It's more so the shirt. I think it's a really nice shirt. It's from Shore at Disney Springs. Well, I'm showing up to the Luau pretty darn early. If you are preferred seating, this is the way that you shall walk. General seating, which I'm gonna head on over to that side because I want to get a good spot because I think it's first come, first serve. Now it looks like seating begins at 5.30. I'm here at 4.30 because I'm not messing around. I am not messing around. Oh my goodness. It looks like we're gonna get some beads. Okay. And I think this is a buffet. We are all ready for the show. If there's anything you guys should know about me, I show up to things early, I do not mess around. As far as the story goes on how we actually got the luau, it was completely sold out. You couldn't go online. Um, the, the next available was October, but I actually decided to get on the phone and call them and it had open availability. They said they added extra seats. So we got very darn lucky. The only thing they had available was general. So I'm assuming we are towards the back. 
I don't know. That's why I'm showing up early. We'll find out, but we are really lucky to have the luau because we weren't seeing it here originally. We were going to Paradise Cove. So I do feel blessed that we are seeing it. It was $174 per person. For general preferred was like $230, which I would prefer to have that, but it wasn't available. And then here is the general seating, which actually begins at 545. Preferred said 530, so we're 15 minutes later. But I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I might move actually though, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Jojo did it, just go ask. It is first come, first serve, so you better <laughs> rope drop the luau. If you're here first, the better seat you shall get. And Jojo, what did you just find out? Apparently it's open bar. Apparently. I just don't want to get excited until I'm actually getting my drink. It's like if y'all are curious in the menu, go ahead and scan this QR code right now with your phones. It's a buffet though, so we go up and get it, but they just offer this so we can see what it is beforehand. Just checked in too. Little tip on how this works. So Preferred gets uh, sat at 5.30 and we're 15 minutes behind, but once it is our time, we walk along this path and it's first come, first serve. So we join this line once it's our time. So theoretically, we could end up really far in the front. Now we know how it works. All right. There's not like a preferred and general designated area. First come, first serve all around. Think of preferred as the lightning lane because that's technically what it is. Oh, yeah. You're going to get a special Kukoi nut. Thank you. There you go. Your vodka. Kukoi. Kukoi. Got you. You look great tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike, oh Mike, come inside. Welcome to Kavaluo. All right, let's do it. Thank you, thank you. Now we're gonna head on in to the line. Oh, there's the bar, baby. Now it looks like there's actually some activities on the lawn. Looks like you can get laid right on over there. That's cool. I can't wait to actually get one of those, but we're gonna get right into the line right away so we can get sat. Seated, that's the problem of English. Preferred in general, we are now combined. You can also get your own tattoo. I'm definitely gonna do that. All right, thank you so much. Heather's gonna guide us on in. Heather is the lucky one. Yeah, we are recording. I saw you guys, you're the first in line for the general. Yes, we are. There's a lot going in here. We just got our IDs checked because we're gonna get like a drink. It's like passion rum. I'll show you guys in a second, but we're gonna get our picture taken right now. Picture time. Let's do it. It's our Kava'a sunsets. You'll find coconut rum, passion orange guava juice with a splash of grenadine. The magic of where are we sitting? Let's find out. All right. Right here? Yes. All right. Hey guys. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> My biggest worry was where are our seats going to be? I'd say we lucked out. We are a party of two, so safe to say maybe a party of four is going to be back there. But we got a magical spot here. Pretty much in the front, center aisle. JoJo said the drink is delicious. Confirmed, this is, it, it tastes like the signature drinks at Disney World. It's like water, let's go baby. It's a chugger. Quick look at how the dinner is set up. There's actually two sides for the buffet. One over here, same exact food, and then one station over here. But there is one exception on the right hand side, all the way tucked in the corner is going to be the ribeye station. They only have one ribeye station, so I'm assuming this line is gonna get pretty darn, pretty darn long. As far as all the activities that they have going around here, we've got, looks like you can make a lay bracelet. It's not a full blown necklace. Well, they actually make it for you, so that's kind of cool. There's taru pounding, whatever that is. Looks like fun. Apparently it tastes like potatoes. That is interesting. I don't even know how to describe that. A tattoo, we'll see if it works with hairy, hairy arms. 
See, look at 48 minutes. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Hairy arm tat. <laughs> Appreciate it. There's so much fun going on, and you can play the ukulele as well. With that, what do you say? We go get our, our second drink. I think I'm gonna get the sunset again because it was so, so good. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, look at all of this food. Passion fruit cake, macadamia nut brownies, guava cake, fruit, and finally, we have some pineapple. We're gonna begin to eat now, and they're gonna release section by section. Can't wait to eat. It's time to feast, baby. Food, we were second to go. Kyle, did you wear my shirt? Yes. Did we even tell them? No. Oh, shoot. <laughs> We bought the same shirts on accident, not at the same time. That's a short story. I've been so focused on the food I forgot to film. I was wondering why you weren't filming. <laughs> Butter balls. Let's get it. And we got prime rib. Stack it on there. All right, thank you. Guys, I was so focused on the food that I totally forgot to film. But uh, we got a lot of salad. You guys saw the, the stuff beforehand. I'm going to start with something I've never tried before, and it's this poke. Never had it. Just give it a go. That's actually really good. No, poke is amazing. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's Sorry, so I, good. I, I gotta talk about this. It's no. really good. No, you know, I've been offering poke to Kyle for so long, and he, the fact that he likes it makes me so happy because he didn't want to try it. So I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna go get some more after this. We got some pork, some juicy pork, teriyaki chicken. That's delicious. I actually really like this poke. I need to get more. I only grabbed two. I like raw tuna, apparently. Had no idea what this is, but. That was fish. That is fish. That's not bad either. Apparently everything's good. To say the least, food is great. Dessert next, and then show. Not to make you guys jealous or anything, but here's a look at my dessert plate. We are finally eating pineapple berries and cake. And let me tell you guys, it's great. Some good mighty pineapple. <laughs> it's amazing. Dude, this is so juicy. You know how sometimes you, get, you eat pineapple and there's like that weird chunk you don't like? Nah, this is all juice and good stuff. The best pineapple I've ever had in my life. And now it's showtime. Awesome. I see you back there. How about I have for our lovebirds? Don't you smile there. <laughs> Not wearing any pants. It's pretty ballsy. <laughs> For these guys, everyone, this is our Mohana from Way Out Loving this, and I like how they actually kind of have like a stage back here too. There's the main stage, and then they have two performers back here, which is really nice. These girls can really dance.
At the end of everything, you can actually go and kind of talk, get a picture, whatever you really want to do. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for today's daily vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this authentic luau. Very entertaining. A lot might be in this vlog. I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but it was a pleasure. It's great. It's definitely a must-see, so if you guys can get uh, tickets, try calling beforehand before you guys come because that's what I did. And um, it was great. Great show, great storytelling, as well as uh, everything. So, see you guys tomorrow. We, uh, I think we're going to be going live tomorrow, and then the next day will be Pearl Harbor. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the live stream.